This is the Capitol Report with Capitol Correspondent Susan Arbetter. The last time a study was done on the economic impacts of the racing and recreational horse industries, the financial impact totaled $2.4 billion. Six years later, it stands at over $4 billion. Through our Racino operations, we now take into New York State more money than Nevada and New Jersey combined. A rare growth industry in a state with a stubbornly high unemployment rate, but perhaps more critical than the equine industry's current contribution to the state's bottom line is its future potential if and when casino gambling is approved. A critical second vote to approve a constitutional amendment allowing gambling is expected to take place early in this legislative session. Lawmakers at a press conference today made the case for linking racing and gambling. We have to keep investing in the horse racing industry uh, and we encourage the governor in working with the legislature uh, to put uh, these casinos uh, close to the racinos and the tracks. When asked why the equine industry has grown so dramatically, one stakeholder explained that racinos have been doing quite well by the horse racing industry. The money that, that the racing industry receives from it is, is going back into the people's investments and, and growing farms, getting more horses here, which increases employment. Governor Cuomo is expected to announce his picks for the new interim NIRA board any day now. At the Capitol in Albany, I'm Susan Arbetter.